Hello there, welcome. Today we're having a look at how to use Mask of the Pouncing Links correctly. And for that I am loading up a agro katsu list that you will also find in the description. A very strong one that I'm currently playing in Classic Constructed. And we are facing a Reiner today. Reiner is actually a very hard matchup for any agro deck and especially ninjas at the moment. They have a lot of arsenal disruption. And we on the other hand don't have well, let's say we, we have many two blocks, so blocking out a CNC that's coming in for seven can get quite annoying. And then there's also sand packing, which we see pitched here. Now, right off the bat, Reiner is starting with two action points from Scapskins, and with the Intimidate, he is able to leak a damage on the first turn. And we are drawing into a hand that really isn't too good. I mean, ideally we can keep an Art of War here for the next turn, but that means we're not really doing anything here. And if we're unfortunate and Reiner can convert his whole hand, we are probably quite behind after this, the, the real first turn cycle. By the looks of it, Reiner is going to let this hit. So we are, a, we are getting a, a Katsu trigger here, which should just be a another 100 wins. So at least we can come in for 7 damage and then pitch 1 out of 4 and come in for another Kodachi. We're also getting that graveyard fill. Not seeing a bonds either till now is um, to be expected, but also not ideal. It means even if we draw some natural combo hand, we won't be able to fetch a, a second bonds of ancestry that easily. Now, Reiner can not only disrupt us very well, he can also block us out very well. He has a lot of armor, and that Scowling Flashback especially is really annoying. That basically, It just says that the first real hand we find will not be able to be played, because he just intimidates one of our key cards. Um, also, having that much armor and that much block in his deck uh, means we really need to use that that mask of the pouncing links as effectively as possible. Um, something like using it in an art of war turn to fetch a blue bonds of ancestry is a lot of value. That's basically two from art from the bonds of ancestry plus one from art of war is three. Then on the card we get to fetch with bonds, it's another probably three plus one, so four. So we're on seven there. That should be the minimum of what that mask has to get us in this matchup. Okay, so far the life totals look even, though you cannot forget that he does have a lot of armor laying there, and we really don't. That art of war in the in the Arsenal is really, really valuable because we do need not only to get a very huge Mask of the Pouncing Links against Rana, we also need to have huge turns to get all, uh, through all that, that disruption, armor and block. Now, if we want to keep a hand, the, the Intimidate from Rana isn't really relevant for us. The problem with this hand though is that it's kind of awkward to play. We, While it is a natural line, we don't have the resources to play it out the way we want to, except for when we crack the hardened cross strip. But also our graveyard doesn't have an ideal target for bonds. If you already draw a natural line like that, you ideally want to play double bonds. In this case, we would have to hit with one of our pieces, either the Surging or the Descendant Gust Wave. Then get the Katsu Trick on, be like Water, fetch a, double, a second Bonds of Ancestry. That third Bonds of the first Bonds of Ancestry would catch another Gust Wave. But because we don't have a Descendant in the graveyard yet, we would have to pop our Breeze Rider Boots that early. Also, we cannot forget that there is a Scowling Flashback lying there, and if he puts that in front of us on one of our first attacks, we're basically screwed and we wasted our hardened cross trap. So I decide that there 
most flexible line here is actually to pitch that yellow searching strike and come in with the descendant gust wave. Reiner already saw us keeping a full hand here, so he might just be very scared and throw that in front of us. And that's exactly what he does. And I don't even think you can blame him here. Because actually, if he doesn't block and we rip the Art of War, we probably get a double bonds turn with an Art of War here, which presents, let's see, some 24 damage. If we crack the mask on that as well, probably more. So him being a little cautious here isn't necessarily the, the, the wrong decision. Though now he's already put in too much armor, arguably. And we will have a way easier time in the future. Now, whenever you see a Reiner player use their Apex Bonebreaker, it's safe to say that they have a disruption piece in the hand because they usually want to look for those seven attack command and conquest or send pickings, which are even harder to block out. And especially him blocking with a Command and Conquer, it's a very telling sign that there is a second disruption piece in hand. And indeed there is. Now we can just use our hand to fill the graveyard further. Now we finally see Dishonor, which is a nice target for our bonds in the future. And then we just put the two blocks in front and now I make the decision to just keep that Bonds of Ancestry because as I've been saying, we need a very big turn against Reiner. And Bonds is one of the key pieces to, to enable a turn like this. So now for, for multiple reasons, don't be scared to keep that, that extra card in your hand. Because also you don't actually need to present something in every turn against the Reiner because they quite often can't convert a 4 card hand. Um, let's not even talk about a 5 card hand here. They need to rely on rolling scab skins, which isn't a reliable source of action points, so... This is actually quite a okay turn cycle for us now. Dig up dinner um, only hit once, so they just gain one life from this. And then, yeah, as I've been saying, they have a sink in hand that they need to pitch. So now just coming in for vanilla six. And we have a really good hand here, especially considering that the Scowling Flashback is gone. We can pitch the yellow bonds of ancestry and start with the Sand and Gust wave. And then have a double bonds turn without even using any of our equipment or the Art of War here. And while using Art of War would be really cool on a double bonds turn, we would have to banish a bonds of ancestry and this is already our second and third red bonds. So I really don't want to do that. I'd rather keep that Art of War because we already leak damage on this turn anyway. And now we can also keep in mind that this might be a turn to use our mask on. Um, the mask targets are not only Bonds of Ancestry if we have the Art of War going. They are also Tenacity, a card that says um, it gains plus one for every blocking card on the combat chain. And or Salt Wound is another great target which says it gains plus one for every hit on the combat chain. So we already got him to to block once. Um, I'm banishing that Descendant Gust Wave, which we can just play. Let's go again to enable that second bonds. And by the looks of it, Reiner really doesn't want us to get the Katsu trigger here. I think he suspects we don't have a second bonds in hand. Already three blocking cards now. So we can already come in with a Tenacity for five, which is five value from our Mask of the Pouncing Links. Not too bad. Maybe we can get two more cards from him. Then that's a 7 from the mask. Nice. And that's two more. Now, I did think about getting the Dishonor here and using Breeze Redder Boots. But Dishonor is only two more damage than the 100 wins I will patch now and Breeze Rider Boots might come in handy later on.
Okay. Now he's deciding to hit. To let us hit, which isn't a bad choice. Unfortunately, he overcommitted with blocks early on, so we can punish him now with the links, as I've been saying. Um, with the addition of tenacity and with all the Katsos playing Mask of the Pouncing Links, defensive decks really have to think twice before blocking against Katsu now. Um, <laughs> even more than before, so maybe three times. Um, because, yeah, as I said, tenacity is a really huge punish for blocking a lot early in the chain. And now we really are on life point parity, uh, even getting rid of all that armor. And we also draw into a very beautiful hand here. Uh, usually you just, uh, when, when it's our turn, pitch that blue card and play the searching. But because we're that close to this game ending, I think we use card cross trap first. And keep that blue to at least come in with two more Kodachis. And because it's likely that we want to use our equipment now or don't get a chance, we also cash in that block it uh, now. And there we go. No scowling flashback. We get we have a double pump, which is usually you can't play around a double pump. That's too too much of a of an ask. So they also don't do it. And now the question becomes: what do we banish with the art of war? And safe play would just be to banish spinning wheel kick. So we for sure have a zero cost in hand. Also, we want to use our Breeze Rider Boots anyway, so Flusterfist is a 0 for 4 with Go again. Now, the correct play is just to crack that out of war again and probably banish Flusterfist, because at this point he doesn't have much block left, and with a double out of war, we'll just kill him this turn. Um, I'm getting a little cute here and just keep it for my second attack which isn't like necessarily a wrong play either it's it's winning too because again he can't double block uh, double over block on that whelming gust wave that's coming up in a second we will have the art of war and the breaking scales to pump it Yep, so for now we don't activate anything. If we get the draw, we just take it. But now there's a regular swing and now there's nothing else for him to do. So we just double pump. Get in total three draws. Even if we don't hit a Bonds of Ancestry, it's likely that we'll, we'll just get some attack. And with Kodachis and that attack, we, we just win here. And Reiner can see that too. So yeah, as I've been saying, that second art of war might have not been played optimally, but good enough and that Lynx really got the the important damage through that put us in a position to kill him on a good hand here otherwise it could have been close uh, i think we were on on six hp yeah so on a good intimidate turn we just die also reiner only saw one blood rush bellow which i mean we got through 20 cards of his deck that's the amount he should be seen but of course the game can go way worse if he sees two very quickly on the other hand, it, get, it can get way better for us if he doesn't see any or we get better hands earlier in the game. It That, that game really was like a quite a normal Katsu game, not a high roll, not a low roll. Um, our opponent just made a few mistakes in, in blocking here and that yeah gave us the opportunity to win. So that is, uh, that is that and I hope I see you next time.